lot of obstacles in a student life. I want to go out. I'm not prepared. I want to defer the exam. I'm not healthy. I'm not able to uh, study long hours. I'm not being consistent. Everything is noise. Just you have a dream and you got to protect it. I want to become a CA. I want to become an actuary. Everything else is noise. And in this journey of five years, four years, six years, whatever it is, everyone is having their own timeline. I'll not say a student completing in six years is wrong. A student completing in eight years is wrong. But wasting time is wrong. Unnecessary wasting time is wrong. Not giving up 100% is wrong. Not putting your 100% uh, on the exam day is wrong. Making oneself underconfident is wrong. So what are the major obstacles which you faced? If you failed many times, you failed two to three times. How to bounce back? How to restart? And what advice you would give to young budding people, those who are entering the professions? So uh, all my academic life in school, I have been a very good student. I have not seen very low marks in my life. When I entered into the professional courses, it was very tough for me to digest the kind of marks you used to get. In fact, ASET was an eye-opener when I scored 86, but I also got All India Rank 1. And I ended at a similar note when I scored 51 in SS7 and still I was All India Rank 1. So adjusting to that, ki professional course, mein you cannot score like a 98, a 99, at, uh, which you did at the school level. And at the same time, failure is a very normal thing in this journey. Getting uh, an F or getting a fail on your mark sheet or on your result should not demotivate you. In fact, I did fail two papers as Sir said. I failed CP3 which was my first exam from the IAI and I also failed SA7 in the previous term which was the May diet. But you have to understand that it is completely fine. You have another chance. It is not like you are not going to be allowed to appear for it again. And next time when you appear for it, that is what I felt as well. Ki SA7 first time, what were the things I was lacking? What was the issue I faced in the exam hall? I worked more on those areas in those six days between my CA finals and SA7 exam because I now knew better how to tackle the paper. So it was like, a mock exam for me and I would not say that you should go for every exam with this mentality that this is a mock exam not at all in that moment you should give your best and if that best does not work out for you there is still scope to be better so you have to pick yourself up and um, of course taking a break is not wrong you need to deal with it it is not an easy thing to see a fail but you have to pick up yourself in just one or two days and get back to the grind because this time you know you have to work harder and smarter. So learn from your failures. Don't make it pull you down because again, as I said, mental strength is very important in this. Thank you so much. Thanks to our viewers and we'll keep posting more such sessions. Thank you.